What's going on everybody, Kwaku here, back with another video. Today, I'm going to take a look at what was once called Office Lens, but is now as of today, the 1st of February, it is called Microsoft Lens. And I'm gonna be taking a look at it here on this here iPad. We're gonna see how it works and uh, see if it really lives up to what Microsoft says it is for in this video. Alrighty, so here it is. Here is a Microsoft lens, as you can see, sitting on the table. So you're not gonna see much yet until I pick up the iPad. But there's two things that I'm gonna do to demonstrate this, uh, this app. It's on iOS, by the way. You can get it on Android as well, Android and iOS. And I'm going to demonstrate it by using a business card, my own business card, as well as some notes as well that I wrote years ago for something I have no idea what it's from. And basically it's because this app has multiple functions. It's got a whiteboard, it's got document, it's got business card, and then it's got a photo function as well. In fact, let me see if I can zoom in so you guys can see it a little bit better. So yeah, it's got a photo function, whiteboard, uh, document, and business card function. And then it's got these three dots on the interface here. You can save to my files. You can go to settings, which brings up the app settings, brings up third party settings, um, third party notices and things like that, or go directly to OneDrive. Closing out of that, you got your flash button. So if it's dark in your room or it's not well lit, you got flash so we can use flash on the sheet of paper or whatever it is you're using to take a picture of. And then finally, it is also, now you have the pictures button, where if you press that, you got the pictures. And that's about it. So getting further in, you got your basic camera toggle. And then right here it says, create capture a document. And basically it just changes based off of what you're actually doing. So capture a document, business card, whatever. So before I even demonstrate them, all these, these four options do here is uh, the whiteboard function captures a document such as this sheet of notes here as a document. And so, it just, I mean, or rather as like a whiteboard. So whiteboards typically have a white background and they just have text on it or drawings. So if this had chicken scratch all over it, it would capture, it would get rid of all the shadows and it would only capture the darkened area, such as the text that I wrote on it right there. So that's, that's pretty much one thing that would happen with it. Um, so yeah, so going deeper, we got, uh, the business card function as well. Business card, what it would do is it would scan this business card and then it would allow me to import it into my OneNote uh, contacts list as well. So that would just have it. This is my own business card. So yeah, that's about it. So let's get into it. So right off the bat, let's take a look at how it actually looks when you scan, let's say a whiteboard type document. And basically all it's gonna be is this sheet of notes right here. I'm going to scan it and basically just by hovering over it with the camera, so if I scan it, you see like there's a little reticle. In fact, if I zoom out just a little bit, you'll see it a little better. You see there's a reticle and it's kind of hovering over to highlight it. Don't worry if it's not perfectly highlighting it because you can adjust it later on. So if I press it, you can hear that. And then what you can do is you can actually crop it in so that way it only copies what you want it to do. If you hold it long enough, it actually shows you what you're covering up. So I can see the corner of my page right there. And then I can just drag in a little bit just to just to angle each thing in just a little bit. And then you can hit confirm. And then once you hit confirm, it actually will just go through. And then you can see it right there. Everything that I wrote, you can see it. It's the exact same thing of what I wrote right here. Five by four some squares, I guess. And yeah, it's everything that I just wrote. But now it translated to this just like that. And it didn't matter with all the shadows around it because it captured it pretty much shadow free. You can see it pretty clearly and it looks really nice and clean. Um, so we're gonna go back again. And then next thing we're gonna do is pick the document function for the same one. And so what I'm gonna do, same thing as before, is I'm gonna highlight it just like that. I'm gonna wait, just wait, capture document. You see the orange thing come in. Oops, I tapped the wrong thing. See the orange thing come in, give it a second. Actually, in fact, I should probably go away. There we go. See the orange thing come in and then just wait shoot and then you just capture it just like that and then you can hit confirm and then you can see that next document i captured it upside down but you can see that that's the next document of course you can still rotate and crop uh, said document with those tools down below but you can do that so if i rotate it rotate it it's right side up and then go back so next thing we're going to do actually you know what is going to be the business card 
uh, go right here. So this is the next, this is the business card uh, button right there. So I'm gonna throw this away for a second and bring in my little business card. So here it is. Here is my business card. See if I can center it on the table a little bit. It's got my basic photography information on it. It's got a phone number. It's got everything on it, which will obviously be blurred out. And so hover over, wait for it to highlight. There we go, it's highlighting and it's gotten the orange thing over it. So hit okay. And then what I can do is I can actually just pick and choose exactly the corners of my business card so that it only captures what it needs to. And then I can hit okay. And then when I go to next, you can see that it captured my business card pretty much flawlessly. So it's got images by Kwaku there and it's the same thing here. So yeah, it captured it really well. I'm gonna hit done. And then you get a bunch of options here. So let me put this thing back down and you're gonna get a bunch of options. Uh, let's see where the top is right there. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. So you get a bunch of options and uh, one of the options is in fact email address, the title, so you can change the title of this document that you did. You can add it to make it save to your photo library, your PDF, a OneNote contact plus image. You got your OneDrive, Word, PowerPoint. So basically Microsoft services. Um, Outlook, you can share it to Outlook, Mail, Immersive Reader, and more apps. When you hit more apps, it brings up a list of things that you can send it to that are in your apps list. So yeah, it's, it's a clean, it's a very clean thing. It works, it seems to work really, really well, but yeah, it's a, I think it, I've been using this app for a while, for many years. Um, it was, like I said, it was originally called Office Lens and uh, it works quite well. Unfortunately, I pretty much work from home. I don't have to scan documents or anything like that. If you do have to do that type of thing, then this is an option that you can use and it's from a reputable source, Microsoft, the enterprise software company themselves. So yeah, it's recommended definitely. You can get it on the App Store for free um, and it works quite well. I'm not going through these little controls at the bottom here simply because there's really no point. It's just your basic tools here. It's got your add picture, you've got your filters, you've got your crop, rotate, delete. You can ink by pressing this and then you can draw on your document. Um, and then you can hit confirm so that it saves it on there. You can hit text, which allows you to add text, you know, and write something on there. And that's about it. And you can swipe through to see what things you scanned and things like that. Uh, the last thing I know I did miss was photo, but photo is pretty straightforward. Photo, if you press it, all it does is it allows you to take a picture, say of this, exactly how it is. So it doesn't do anything special. It doesn't do any whiteboarding. It doesn't do anything crazy. So let me do that real quick. And just like that, yeah, photo doesn't really change much. Photo is just a photo. It's nothing crazy. So really, that's pretty much it for Microsoft Office Lens slash Microsoft Lens. I'm gonna call it Office Lens still mistakenly, but that's pretty much it for that. Um, yeah, if you have any questions about this application, let me know in the comment section below. Microsoft did just update it to be called Microsoft Lens, I think today. I got that news from uh, on Microsoft.com. So if you want to check out their article, you can actually also check out theirs. I'll link, I believe I'll link to, I think Windows Central has an article on it and my, on Microsoft's. And you can see their information from there, the deeper information. But this was a showcase taking a look at Microsoft Lens on iOS. They have it on Android as well. And it is free on both sides with no microtransactions or anything. So yeah, uh, take care everybody and have a great day. Thank you.